In this video we are going to look at how we can maintain the authorization object values for the individual transaction within the SAP risk rule set. When you want to perform SAP segregation of duties analysis and SAP sensitive transaction analysis you do not want to just check only on the SAP transaction related risk. But you also want to look at the risk due to combination of SAP transactions and SAP authorization object values. We are going to enter SAP transaction SU01 in the box. This will bring us the SAP SU01 related SAP authorization object settings. Now we are in the SAP authorization object level settings for the SAP transaction SU01. We can activate and deactivate various authorization object settings. We also have option add more authorization object if required. We are going to click on the SAP Transaction Group button to see the various groups this transaction is available. On the leftmost corner we are seeing the Transaction Group, the SAP Transaction, Transaction Group Description, Active Status and the Activity Fields.